Hi, this is Chris. We've got the OnePlus 7 Pro. It has a pop-up selfie camera in the front, as well as three cameras on the back. That's the main camera, a telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and an ultra wide angle camera. Let's take a look at how they perform. I love the ultra wide angle shots captured on this phone. Going ultra wide allows me to fit more into the photo. It's especially useful when capturing the architecture in Hong Kong. But it tends to struggle when it comes to picture quality. While photos are sharp in the center, the corners are soft. You can also see color fringing. It's more obvious in high contrast lighting conditions. But it's not a huge deal breaker unless you're zooming in a lot. Ultimately, while it may not have the best image quality, being able to capture so much makes the ultra wide angle worth it for me. There's no notch on the OnePlus 7 Pro. The selfie camera is in a little pop-up module. It comes up quickly and quietly, but what about image quality? There appears to be a skin retouching effect. My skin tones look a bit dull, and colors are less saturated. But I'm actually okay with this. I really like the background blur for selfies. It's really natural with no hard edges. The 3 times zoom on the OnePlus 7 Pro is pretty useful. You do lose some image quality. The zoom photos look less sharp with visible noise. But it's great to have the option to shoot something far away. Still, OnePlus is behind other Android phones. Both Huawei and Oppo have over 5 times optical zoom already. More than any other camera, smartphones need to be good at quick point and shoot photos. The OnePlus 7 Pro does okay here. The autofocus works well in most cases, but it will struggle in low light situations. I actually prefer the normal lens for street photography. It delivers detailed images in bright light with accurate exposure, neutral white balance, and vivid color. And don't forget, there's also the ultra wide angle lens and the 3x zoom. Having 3 different types of focal length on this phone gives you options and makes it ideal as an everyday point and shoot camera. I spent a night taking photos in Hong Kong. Most night shots look pretty good in auto mode. I don't see too much noise, but the sharpness is a bit off. There is a nightscape mode for brighter photos in the dark. But I didn't have a good experience with it. Yes, it does make shots look brighter. But the downside is you lose a lot of detail. The noise reduction is too strong here. Nightscape photos just don't seem to capture the mood of being at night. I much prefer to use the regular mode for shooting in the dark. There are better smartphones at shooting in the dark, but the OnePlus 7 Pro does a decent job. This smartphone can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second, but the video quality is disappointing. The 4K videos have oversaturated colors, and the sharpening effect is too aggressive. I found it impossible to get natural looking colors in 4K video. It's worse when you use the 3x zoom. The image is less sharp and there's visible noise. It feels like digital zoom instead of optical. 
The built-in stabilization isn't great either. It's fine for static handheld shots, but I can't get smooth and steady video while walking. One nice thing about shooting video on this phone, it can capture photos while recording a video. That means you can snap 4K photos of whatever you are filming without interrupting the video. The OnePlus 7 Pro works well for quick snaps in everyday life. It performs well in good lighting conditions, but it's not one of the better smartphone cameras out there, and I'm really disappointed with video. It's so hard to get natural looking colors here. Smartphone cameras have really improved recently. What was good before doesn't have the same impact now. This isn't one of the better smartphone cameras out there. But that doesn't mean the OnePlus 7 Plus camera is bad. It gets the job done for point and shoot photos. And the ultra wide angle lens is fun. Just don't expect much from video.